oil the line from the tribe of Judah. The first little bit of symbolism to look at on this page is oil. It's quite obvious that oil plays a big part in our modern day lifestyle. However, we must ask, where did the word oil come from? I'm not talking from a grammatically correct source of origin, I'm talking about why was it symbolically chosen to be called oil by the Luciferian thinkers. Let's look at the word oil. You knew I was going to do this, didn't you? Oil equals Leo when reversed, Leo equals Leo, Leo equals Lion. This is the line from the tribe of Judah. The line from the tribe of Judah is a title given to the Messiah of the Old and New Testament. This is once again, Lucifer. He is the Redeemer, the Prince, the King, the King of Beasts. The long flowing mane of the line is again symbolizing the hair of this entity, and once again we have to look at this word, hair equals re equals re equals ray. The lion's hair is a symbol of the sun, son of God's hair or rays. The old Egyptian name for this entity was Ra or Ray, derived from Amenra. Therefore, when we see oil playing such a massive part in the world plan in a modern time, it just has to significantly tie into the Luciferian agenda somehow. Oil drives the world economy. Without oil all the engines of the God of commerce would stop. Or put another way, without the symbol of the Messiah, the lion from the tribe of Judah, that causes the rich to be richer and that causes death to millions in pursuit of this black sludge, the whole world economic system would collapse. Oil is one monstrous messianic type characteristic that has caused humanity to worship at the throne of this God. It is for this reason that any amount of killing is justified to maintain the supply of oil to the industrialized world. Where does oil come from? From the earth, through all three. Out of the core, rock, of the earth. The core is symbolic of 15, the number of the deity. 3 is the earth when reversed, 3. It is this rock that is the most dense matter on the face of the earth and therefore, because of this density, it is of the Luciferian mind which is the mind that totally lacks wisdom and therefore exhibits itself in the density of matter. We saw on page 16 how Lava had many characteristics associated with biblical terms and now we see the energy of oil that drives the modern commercial world is also found in the rock of the earth. The 15 and 3. Just below I have put together a 24-hour clock to demonstrate the connection and symbolism of numbers larger than 12. For instance, the number 8 is the number of complete control, but so is 20. The number 3 is the shape of the deity and likewise is 15 the number of the deity. 9 is the number of the fallen so is 21, as is 45 minutes. This is also why the magic cube with 9 squares is revered by the intellect of the serpent mind. The 9 squares coincide with 9 o'clock and 45 minutes. The nine squares added up in any direction equals 45. Oh, how brilliant dot if it wasn't so ridiculous. Six is the number of the Christ, Antichrist and so is 18, or 30 minutes. This is also why 81 is strong symbolically when it is 18 reversed. You get the picture. However, here's the number that we must pay very close attention to in all this. That number is the number of death, 11. 11 coincides with 23. 11 is the death number during the daylight hours, when Horus, the son of God is rising. 23 is the number of death during the nighttime hours when the sun is setting, or when the day is ending, think deity is ending. One full day is made up of the sun's 12 hours and the father's 12 hours. This is one full deity. However, it is the last hour of the day that symbolically speaks of the day dying. This is the number 23 and there is but one hour left in the deity. Let's pause for a moment to look at the word o'clock. A clock equals O the all-seeing eye, clock equals cloak the matrix veil of deceit, clock equals time time equals emit when reversed, means to send forth time sends forth this three-dimensional reality through experiencing space or distance distance equals die, stance the stance we take to experience death, all this is the clock. As we watch the seasons or the hours change, we're observing time and space, we're observing death, the die stance, subliminally hypnotizing us into believing time and space, this 3D illusion is real. Of course, if we reverse the process, by not watching or giving credence to time and space, by snapping out of our hypnotic stupor, the die stance ends and we become aware our eternal paradise state once again. This is how we, through wisdom, terminate the Illuminatimatrix agenda. We stop believing it has any worth. It is absolutely corrupt. 